This is Passy's World of ICT, just with a PowerPoint animation here which uses motion paths. Let's have a look at the animation and what it does. Alright, so a heading comes in and then a drawing picture here. Who will win the grand final? That's the AFL grand final between Australian football teams. So this is a hyperlink here to the next slide. We click that link and we can watch the winning goal now and it looks like Collingwood is going to kick the winning goal and win that grand final alright now that was using motion paths this little button here is just to uh, exit from PowerPoint completely back to the start alright let's have a look at how that's set up here's our first slide and if we go to animations and under custom animation we can see what's happening here. Now with the text box, that's the first thing. It's got a spiral in type animation. If we just play that, we'll see that comes spiraling in. Then we've got a second animation on the shape. Alright, if we wanted to change that spiral in, we would go to here. That's an entrance animation, so we could have more effects and we can have a look through and change it. See we're at the moment we're in spiral in which is under the exciting group. Alright now notice that it's also set to with previous so that what happens is it'll come in when the slide comes in. The next one here though the question mark picture it comes in after previous so it'll come in after the heading. We've got pinwheel is the effect on that which makes it spin round. So if we just play that we can see that spirals in but this one has pinwheel to spin around we could click this change button go to other entrance uh, effects and change that if we wanted to alright let's have a look at the second slide uh, one other thing is on this first slide notice that uh, we have it set to advance the slide on mouse click not automatically so they will have to click on that question mark symbol to get to the next slide now the next slide has custom animation as well and a number of motion paths what we've done here is picture zero here is this first Geelong one and we've used just motion paths so if you go custom path so when you go to motion paths draw a custom path and we usually just use scribble or curve is what we've done there and we've drawn a curve here so the Geelong symbol comes in and lands there the second effect here is on the Collingwood one where it'll come across the page and then land here. Notice these are both off the slide at the start so that when we play this we don't see them. They come in from off stage and then land at their positions. Alright, the final thing is looking at how this football works. You notice these first two had with previous so that they will start together with the slide and come in. This second one is after previous and set to very slow. Again it's a custom path. The football is off the stage to begin with. It will come in, go across through the goals and then disappear off the slide. So that if we just have a quick look at that again to see what happens. Alright, these two guys come in together. Then the football comes second and goes off the stage and disappears. So that's a simple PowerPoint done with motion path animation and using action buttons and hyperlinks. This is Passy's World of ICT. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial.